All right, so let's take a look at this video. I got four problems I'm going to work. Uh, basically, what we have is we have a single function here, and we want to write it as a composition of two functions. Okay, so it says express the given function h of x. So you can see we've got h of x, four different problems, as a composition of two functions f and g, so that h of x is equal to f circle g of x. Now remember this f circle g of x that's the same thing as f of g of x. Okay so let's let's look at this problem here. Alright so to work this problem we need to figure out what f and g are. Okay so that when we do this we end up with this. Okay, the 3x minus 4, um, 3x minus 1 to the fourth. Well, you can see here that if we take f of x and we let f of x be x to the fourth, then we would need to let g of x equal 3x minus 1. So take a look at that. Okay, so if you look at this, f of g of x, okay, so let, let's just do that, okay, so this is f of g of x, well what's g of x? It's 3x minus 1. So what am I going to do with this 3x minus 1? Well I'm going to take this and put it in the place of x, so this will give me 3x minus 1, see I put that in the place of x to the fourth, and you can see we end up with h of x. And so that's all we're doing here, okay, is finding the two functions so that when I do this I end up with h of x. Well obviously you can see if this is x and then to the fourth, okay, so I've got x to the fourth, well what do I have to replace x with to get this up here? Well the 3x minus 1. Okay. So now seeing this, it ought to be pretty easy for you to get these other ones. So let's look at it. So f of x here, well, what do you think we'll let f of x be? Well, that's going to be what? The square root of x because what can we replace x with? Well, g of x, we can replace x with what? 2x squared plus 3. You see that? So if we take this and plug it in for x, we're left with this. Okay, so what about number 3? Well, f of x can be what? 1 over, what do you think? That's right, x. Okay, so what would we need to replace x with to get the 4x plus 5? Well, g of x would need to be what? 4x plus 5. And these are your two functions. All right, well, what about this one? See, pause the video and see if you can do this one. All right, so let's take a look and see how we do it. So f of x is equal to, so what do you think f of x is going to be? It's going to be the absolute value of x. And then g of x would be what? Well, what do we have to put in for x to get this? Well, that's the 3x plus 4. And that's how you do it. You can see it's simple. It's not very difficult at all. All right, so hopefully the video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.